Hi, this session is for discuss about feature engineering. First, we will know about what is the feature in given data set. The input data which is having the tabular format in the tabular format which is consisting number of rows and number of columns. Here the number of rows are called instances or observations or samples. Likewise the columns are called variables or attributes or features. In this given example each column is called the feature. So here we are having the citizens as one feature, size is another feature, in library is third feature, price is fourth feature and addition is fifth feature. Finally we are having the column by this is the label or target output in the given data set. Then all the rows each and every row is called sample or observation or data point. This example provides you the insight about the data set. For example image is an instance in computer vision but the line in the image could be the feature. For example, we will have the image like this 2 by 2 image, 2, two um, columns of pixels and 2 rows of pixels. Here we may have some leaf like this. So here this leaf is having edges. So this edges will be the features for this picture. So, the this edge values will be considered as a features. In NLP document, the document which will have sentences and also each sentence will have the word count. So, here the document will be called sample and word count will be called features. And the feature engineering in the sense which is transforming the raw data which is getting from the environment or table then that raw data will be transforming into features that is set of columns which can be used for building a predictive model in machine learning or statistical modeling. For example, if we have uh, a data like serial number 1, then uh, in the web document we can write like this, serial number 1, then name, name is like Charu, then we can have, we can give some uh, door number 202, then a street name, street name. Right. So here we are, this is just a uh, data which is given in the raw, uh, raw format. Okay. So this can be converted into table. So here this each and every data will be formed in the uh, uh, form of features. This is serial number feature, name feature, then uh, door number feature then street name feature. So here we will add the value as yes, 1 charu is value for the name, 202 for the door number, street for the value of street. Then next if there is any next value then you can add it as suppose if you are having 101 then balu then 1 then uh, street name will be Vivek street then this value added as a second data point 101 Balu here door number is 1 the street name is Vivek street so like this 
we can transform the raw data into tabular format in the name of features this features are useful to make the machine learning model to predict the results which is improving the accuracy after transforming the uh, raw data into features that features are used for improving the accuracy of our model for giving test data the feature engineering deals with irrelevant data missing values human interruption general errors insufficient data sources etc here the missing values within the data set highly affect the performance of the model that we will see in the forthcoming slides uh, the feature engineering contains four primary process first process is the engineer ml engineer should cre create the features from raw data then transforming the features from one format into another format to improve the model's performance third one extracting the features from the particular given input this will be mostly used for image if, uh, feature extraction then finally we will select the features from the feature set the feature set will uh, contain more than 1000 features 500 features or 1 lakh features also so from that 1 lakh features we should select the contributed or relevant features to our given problem statement we will see one by one first one feature creation here the feature creation finds the most useful features or variables in the given data set to contribute to our predictive machine learning model this process is very subjective and it requires human creativity and intervention here the software engineer should have domain knowledge that is the human creativity that means he should have the uh, knowledge about given problem statement and the input data based upon the domain knowledge he has to intervene into the data set to perform the feature engineering this can be adding or removing some features so here when uh, the software engineer is involving or interfering in the data set so he can add some of the features to improve his machine learning model at the same time he can remove some of the features which are not relevant to his problem statement so the relevant features can be removed from the given input data set the new features suppose if he wants to create and add new features by mixing the existing features by mixing the existing features using addition or subtraction and uh, he, he can use a rash, rational um, operation and this new features have great flexibility to improve the model performance here for example uh, the given data set is having two features quantity is one feature amount is uh, amount is the second feature so here uh, amount is the label actually amount is the label amount is the label here uh, which is having only one feature so this one feature is not uh, not sufficient to provide the accuracy provide more accuracy for the model so what we have to do we can give we can use this two we can use these two columns of data to create another one feature so from the amount and quantity we can create one more feature price for price for one quantity price per one quantity so here five quantity is 
100 rupees so one quantity will be 100 by divided 100 by 5 is 20 like that here 5 quantity is 500 rupees so single quantity is 100 rupees so here we have created one more uh, feature so feature number 2 feature number 1 so using these features you can predict the amount of the given data set so which is providing more insight about the given data set so this is the purpose to create the features and transformation transformation in the sense this function is used to transforms the feature from one representation to another representation for example you look at here the quantity is having the range from 5 to 25 minimum is 5 and maximum is 25 so this is the range of quantity feature but at the same time if the amount is having the range between 100 is the minimum value maximum is 500 so this is having uh, range between 100 to 500 so here which is having 5 to 25 but this is having 100 to 500 here which is also having 10 to 100 10 to 100 so what we can do we can transform this all the feature values between 0 to 1 so why do we do this uh, transformation for when you are calculating the 100 to 500 value it needs more computational power that means it needs more execution time to perform the arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication division operations so to avoid the more time execution we can transform this all feature values between some range lowest range 0 to 1 so which is not losing any information when you are transforming between the uh, 0 to 1 so here quantity is transformed between 0 to 1 likewise amount also transformed into the range between 0 to 1 price for quantity also transformed between the 0 to 1 so it is not lasting the information but at the same time uh, the calculation for 0 0.2 uh, and 0 0.1 will take minimum calculations minimum number of calculations and minimum number of computational power when comparing with 20 and 100 so these values are belonging to this range so uh, the computational power will be decreasing for example we can use the plots that bar graph um, uh, scatter plot uh, graph so this can be used and visualize the data and you can apply normalization transformation process also so why when can we use this as i said when we are having the variety of input data with different range for all the features on the same scale makes the model easier to understand if model if features are having different range if you transform that into same scale then it will make the model to go give better performance so that's what given here when all the features are within the acceptable range it will avoid the computational error and reduce the computational resources power then uh, we are having uh, another step feature extraction so this feature extraction is mostly useful in the processing of images inputs here uh, uh, look at that this is the image image is having uh, three layers like r uh, g b so here the uh, input this is the pixel this is the pixel single pixel in the all three layers 
here the single pixel is giving three feature values feature number one feature number two feature number three so the feature is giving three i mean or the each pixel is giving three different values three different values so this is called feature extraction so this is the second pixel the second data point second pixel second data point in the second feature second pixel second data point in the feature number three so this is the label this is the output label for the second data point so here this is an automated process which is generating the new features by extracting the given input image from raw data it reduces the volume of data so it can be easily used and managed for modeling the data the feature extraction algorithms examples cluster analysis text analytics edge detection algorithms like canny edge detector gabar filter uh, wit filter privet filter so so many edge detection algorithms are there and principal component analysis so these algorithms are useful to extract the features from images finally fourth step is feature selection for example uh, if we have three uh, features in our data sets in that three features we can find out which are the features are contributing more uh, information to our developing model that's what here process of selecting the subset of most relevant features most relevant features which are contributing to our model improvement model performance improvement so that features will be selected that features will be selected from the set of features by removing the redundant features irrelevant features or noisy features so if any feature is repeating then that feature can be removed if any feature is not contributing to our model's performance we can remove it and also if there is any noisy features available in our feature set we can remove that feature so most ap appropriate features only will contribute to build the machine learning model if model trains with all these redundant features and irrelevant features it may reduce the overall performance in terms of accuracy in terms of accuracy so we should identify and select the only most relevant features which are contributing to improve our model's performance and the rest of the features which are irrelevant to our model to be removed from the data set it the removal of irrelevant features avoid the curse of dimensionality dimension in the sense number of features in the given data set so when you are reducing the, the dimension of the features that reduces the training time and overfitting so these are the steps uh, in feature engineering process first one is the feature creation and the second one is transformation then third one is feature extraction and fourth one is feature selection the feature uh, feature creation in the sense creating the new features and uh, transforming the one representation of feature into another representation to make the calculations easier and uh, third one is extracting the features from uh, image in the form of raw data into set of features then feature selection process used to select the contributing relevant features to improve the model's performance by removing the irrelevant redundant and noisy features thank you